What's going on everyone and welcome to another episode of First Look. So today I've pretty much decided to do a complete ripoff of a Stuart Ashens review. Boop, 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 boop. I can see perfectly. Now if you've never seen an Ashens video, I implore you, you must check them out. Uh, this guy is basically the king of reviewing cheap, crappy items. The guy is hilarious. Definitely check him out. Uh, but today, I'm basically going to do my own review of a cheap, crappy item. Now, before I actually show it to you, I'm going to give you a clue as to what it is. What do you get when you combine a Dreamcast, a Game Gear, a GameCube, and a PlayStation? Well, apparently, you get one of these. This is a Dream Gear Game Station. A game console with a name that's just uh, about as original as its design. Uh, yes, you may have already noticed this looks strikingly similar to a Sega Dreamcast. And, you know, a few differences here and there, and obviously a lot smaller. Uh, but, yeah. This is far from being a Dreamcast, though, as it's one of those cheap game consoles with all the built-in crappy games. Yay! And I can't wait to check those out, but uh, before we actually do that, I'm going to uh, show you the description from the manufacturer's website, since I do not actually have the box for this. Now here it is here. The Dream Gear Game Station Plug and Play Game System. Plug and Play. Item number, blah blah blah, UPC number. Very nice. Uh, as you can see, it's supposed to come with two controllers and a light gun. Now, unfortunately, I do not have the light gun, but I do have the controllers. Um, yeah, product features includes game console, two game controllers, light blaster, 75 video games included. And video games probably is a very loose term. Uh, compatible with any TV with AV inputs. Woo! And we have a bunch of stuff down here. I don't know what any of this is. I guess dimensions for the product. And it's not even staying in focus. There we go. Yes, it weighs 2.25 pounds. Yay! Okay, enough of that. Well, yes, here is the console itself. Here is the front of the console where you have two controller ports for the controllers. And if this camera will focus in... Eh, you get the idea anyway. There we go. And I'll actually show you the controller right now. Here's one of them here. Yes, it's pretty much your standard controller. It looks nothing like a Dreamcast controller, unlike the console, which does look like a Dreamcast. The, yes, the controller is more like a PlayStation controller, I'd say. And we have your triangle, square, X, and circle buttons, just like you'd have on a PlayStation controller. And you have a standard D-pad, a very hard one to press at that. And a couple buttons here that don't seem to be labeled, assuming they're start and select. So yeah, that's the controller. Very nice. Well, here's the console again. Um, nothing on the side. On the back here we have obviously your video and audio out. Unfortunately only audio or mono audio. Which actually may be a good thing depending on how good the music in these games are, which is probably not very good. Uh, we also have DC in. Hmm. I don't see a DC in. Well, heh. <laughs> I guess there is none. Hmm. Well, nothing on this side. On the bottom it says, Dream Gear, made in China. Oh, what a surprise. And here we have the compartment for the batteries. I don't exactly know what kind of batteries they are, but hopefully I have them so I can test out the games. But yes, that is the outside of the Dream Gear game station. So I'll, I guess we should probably test out the games. Hmm. Well. Let's get on with it, shall we? And here we are, in the games. 75 in 1. Hmm, well, let's uh, go through the list and uh, read off all the games. Of course, I will not be playing all these games. I'm not willing to torture myself that much. But uh, let's go through them here. A Shark. A Harbor. Aether Mission. Aether Cruiser. Bar Room Shootout, Coast Guard, two-player apparently, Dragon Running, two-player, Deformable, two-player, Deer Stalking, Dejectile, 
uh, Dringle, Final Blood, Burbles, two player, Fruit Gift, Fish Story, Frantic Mouse, Hunter, Jumping Fish, Power Robot, Lightning two player, Mad Xmas, Octopus, Jumping Kid two player, Pulveration, is that even a word? Probably not. Pong Pong, two player. Penta Base, two player. Mouse Snurry. Okay. Uh, Road Worker. Space Shuttle, two player. Greedy. Speed Man, two player. Toy Factory. Goblet Tower. Shoot UFO. So I'm not seeing any Soul Calibur or Shenmue in here anywhere so far. Hmm. Pobble, two-player. Abscondi. Burrow Explorer, two-player. Cannonade. Contest, 2004. Flingball, two-player. Ghost Castle. Hallelujah. Halle Hallelu, two-player. Hmm. Labyrinth, two-player. Lunarian, two-player. Magic Bubble. Nutcracky, two-player. Pathway. Polar Bat. Pizza Boy. Isn't that supposed to be two words? Hmm. Rural Goblin. Seaport Garl. Is that supposed to be Guard? Hmm. Submarine. Sub... Submarine. I believe there's a letter missing in there. Sea Wolf, Snowball, Sea Maid, Teleport, Undersea Arena, Vigilante 2-player. Oh, maybe that's a ripoff of Vigilante 8 from the Dreamcast. It was also on the N64, but uh, this one is actually spelt wrong. Hmm. Wonder Ball 2-player, Wonder Rabbit, Aquarium, Memory Test, Depth Bomb, Diamond, Devil Dumb Doom, Cub Adventure, Escapeway, Mirror Devil World, Island, Police vs. Thief 2-Player, Water Pipes, Falling Blocks, Forest Adventure, Blocks World, and Space Base 2-Player. Thrilling. Well, I guess we should try out mm, maybe the first few games or so on here. Let's start with A Shark. Yep, that's a shark. Start. I'm not a shark. I'm a fish. A very small goldfish type fish. And I'm swimming around. And I can't seem to do anything else. Oh, this is fun. Hmm. Can I move to another screen? No, I cannot. I died. Well, this is fun. None of the buttons do anything. I can pause the game. I can swim around, and that's, that is it, literally. What is the goal of this game? I do not care. Let's move on. Let's press the reset button, and that doesn't look good. Reset again. Excellent. Okay, um, let's try a harbor. Ooh, Pearl Harbor, yay! Uh-huh, start. Ooh, I can shoot. Well, already this game is better than the other one, and it's game over already. Wow. I'm apparently extremely terrible at this game. Either that or the level of difficulty is extremely high. Well, I'm surviving longer anyway. Yeah, this game is um, lacking in uh, the fun department, I could say. Yeah. Next! On to a Thier mission. Or Aether mission, whatever it is. 
Start. Ooh, it's a shoot 'em up. Hmm. Well, this isn't too bad so far. Kind of reminds me of an NES shoot 'em up. Even the sound effects sound a lot like a shoot 'em up I've played on the NES. I don't remember which one. Well, I guess it isn't too bad. You know, it's playable, unlike the last two. Um, I thought those were collectibles, but I guess not. Next! Alright, so on to Aether Cruiser. Or Aether Cruiser. Hmm, copyright 2004. So I guess this game console came out in 2004 if you want to call it a game console. Hmm, stage one. Okay, so I'm stuck at the bottom of the screen here. And I can move very, very slowly back and forth. And I can shoot. All the buttons seem to do the same thing. Shoot. Yes, the graphics in these games are mm, very NES-like, I'd say. Definitely nowhere near the Dreamcast, that's for sure. But uh, the games are not even close to NES quality. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, let's give one more a try here. Barroom Shootout. Hopefully I don't need the light gun for this. But let's try it out and see what happens. We have received a news. Sir, we found them. How in the world are you supposed to read that so fast? Wow, you must... Okay, this is a light gun game, obviously. Because I can't do anything. So, let's try out one more. I said let's try out one more. Hmm. Not a very reliable console, that's for sure. Okay, we got to skip past the two-player stuff and go to Deer Stalking. Ooh, I've been looking forward to stalking a deer. Start! Okay, so this is a regular controller game, apparently. So I can move the entire screen with the D-pad. And I do not see anything. Hello? I actually don't see any deer in this game, despite the title being Deer Stalker. Oh, there we go. Huh? He just dropped dead. I didn't even shoot. I'm pressing the button. I don't see any bullets. It's not making any sound. So apparently, all I have to do is press the button while on the deer, which is not working. Maybe I have to wait till he stops? No. Okay. This very well may be the worst game of the bunch. It doesn't even work. Okay, well, that is the final game we are going to look at on the Dream Gear Game Station 75-in-1 crappy game console. But yeah, this has been a first look at the Dream Gear Game Station. Do I recommend buying one? Not unless you'd like to torture yourself with awful games. But anyway, guys, if you've somehow enjoyed watching this video, please comment, rate, subscribe, and thanks for watching.